Uh, my first question to you is, did you have any hesitations about directing this project? Uh, you know, uh, I, I knew why I wanted to make it. Um, I knew uh, that I wanted to do it because it celebrated Chosen Family. I knew that I wanted to do it because I had never explored queer Asian American friendship in a film before. Um, and so those really became my um, uh, uh, kind of guiding light, my motivation to do this. So that anytime I, I felt a certain hesitation, whether it was because of the challenge of making a film at the scale or the burden of representation, you know, I always reminded myself of why, um, you know, it was important for me to, to work on this project. And um, I felt pretty confident uh, about uh, those reasons. And um, I think it's really risky to live with regret as an artist. Uh, and I, I knew that I might get some things wrong or I might not do it perfectly, but that that is, um, you know, the, the process of an artist. And I, I really trust process. How important was it to have that authenticity in this film, not just behind the camera, but in front of it as well? Yeah, for me, I think there's something about the lived ex experience of being a queer person that um, uh, can really show in a performance. And I really loved working with this cast because they're so talented, they're so funny, they're so vulnerable, you know, and we all understood the, the meaningfulness of um, this project. And I think that common goal really brought us together. Um, you know, I'm so glad that I could show the depth of talent that exists within the queer community because there are so many super talented people um, that I think deserve huge careers, you know, and, and if my film can, can be a showcase for their, you know, acting ability, I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, speaking of that, I know Joe Kim. Everybody really kind of knows Joe Kim. Everybody knows Bowen. And some people do know who Conrad is. But for me, I fell in love with his character throughout this entire process. How is it working with him to bring Will to life? Conrad's amazing. Um, you know, he really plugged into um, uh, the character on a, uh, <clears throat> on a very um, uh, kind of, uh, philosophical level, you know, it, it's interesting. I think Conrad wouldn't necessarily say that um, Will is any different as a person from beginning to end, you know, it's just that we get to see a different side of him, you know, and, um, and I think that, you know, Will's character still values the same things. And Conrad was really good about, you um, uh, understanding that, you know, that this isn't like a totally different person. It's just, you know, someone who's um, uh, become more comfortable with the people that he's around so that we get to see, you know, uh, uh, a part of him that that was locked off to us. Um, so we had a, a really fun discussion about, you know, the archetype of Mr. Darcy and um, you know, talked about these moments where he can open himself up a little bit more. And, you know, the script does a really beautiful job of kind of laying those out. Um, you know, the dance off being kind of the big fun moment for them. Um, but uh, Conrad is, uh, he's just so intuitive as an actor and um, uh, loves the craft um, and is so good at just, uh, you know, um, grounding himself within a scene that um, it, it just felt really organic. There's a lot of vulnerability in this film from so many different characters and speaking with some of the other cast, it, it's about bringing that comfort um, to making sure that it is kind of that safe space. How important was it to kind of really make sure everybody was okay with what was going on? And then of course, comforting them along the way. Yeah, you know, uh, I think that the, 
director's number one job is to um, uh, create a space where um, people feel safe to work. And that's both uh, the cast and the crew. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, stunt coordinators, it's intimacy coordinators, it's um, uh, the AD, the PAs, like, you know, everybody has to uh, be on board to um, create this environment. And, and uh, I, I really uh, take it upon myself to, um, uh, you know, lead by example and, and also um, uh, inspire people to uh, prioritize, you know, a, a space where we can feel um, vulnerable, where we can, um, you know, uh, make mistakes like that for me uh, is super important. Um, and I think that leads to really beautiful performances. You know, I know that there are directors like Kubrick who famously, you know, do 70 takes of a shot and, um, you know, uh, berate their actors, you know, that that's, that's a way to make film. I think that that's outdated. I think that it leads to very compelling performances sometimes but to the detriment of an actor's career, uh, their health, their desire to do something, you know, different after. And so I, um, you know, I really think of art as a, a long-term, you know, process. And it's not just one project, it's a career, it's a body of work. And, you know, I wanna be able to continue making work. I want my actors to continue their craft and with each project learn something. And so, um, you know, I, uh, I just really love fostering the environment. Um, and I think that it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a responsibility. What do you hope audiences take away from watching Fire Island? Um, you know, I hope they, they smile, you know, I hope that it reminds them of a time in their lives when they got to celebrate, you know, themselves with their friends, you know, I uh, I think that um, many people, uh, you know, take for granted their friendships, um, and I totally understand how that happens. You know, it's a really difficult world to live in, um, and sometimes we have to retreat and withdraw ourselves from you know society so that we can, you know, focus on ourselves. Um, uh, I think a part of self-care is community care and engaging with people um, because they can help you and you can help them. And, you know, I often find for myself, like, I'm the worst, you know, uh, when I'm stuck in my head. And so to have a group of friends that can um, remind you that, you know, you're, you know, beautiful, that you're special, um, just the way you are, I, I think is um, an important part of, uh, you know, how we can be happy and healthy. Uh, final question. Um, I thought about this when it was over. I was like, man, I would love to see another one of these. Is this something <laughs> that you would consider maybe a couple years down the road as making a Fire Island 2 or making a different variation of that film? I mean, a Fire Island cinematic universe would be very gratifying to me, um, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm always down to work with this cast and crew again, you know, it was such a lovely experience making the movie. And if we could do it, you know, somewhere else, I, uh, you know, sign me up. I'm, I'm, you know, totally for it. Um, you know, I think it would have to be the right story and, you know, maybe it'd be a spinoff. Maybe it's just Margaret's character or maybe it's Luke and Keegan, you know, um, but I, uh, I, I really hope that people um, feel that these characters live on and that they are having a great time, you know, together, whether it's on Fire Island or somewhere else.